Good morning. Today is September 10, 2022, and I have here a good game, very close. Uh, it can go either way, and it's because White missed one move away from winning, which happens to me frequently. But in this case, it's my opponent. So let's get started. First puzzle I want to show you is this one right here one move away from the position and like I said this is missed opportunity by white here white has just captured a knight at e4 what is black's best move This is the second puzzle. The pawn has just been pushed to d7. What is Black's response? All right, now that the two puzzles has been introduced and we are going to do some quick analysis for it, not too long. There's really nothing good to it, other than uh, in the beginning, I mean in the middle, in the beginning is pretty boring. My favorite modern opening, and really this is basically guarding this square over here, sometimes it can be annoying, but it's defensive, it's not really aggressive. I don't really need to do that because I'm going to castle here anyway. But we'll see what happens. Next move. That's an already aggressive position right here. The pawn here has two options. You can take the pawn or you can block the bishop. Either way is good. If blocking the bishop, the bishop can go over here. And that's it. So black will have good development. Next move. And Black's Bishop is being pushed back anyway. He doesn't have to do that because if Knight takes Bishop, Pawn takes Bishop, and this Pawn and this Pawn will link up. So that's a possibility. Why does not have to do that? But there's nothing wrong with it. And this is actually a mistake. Uh, the idea is for white, I mean for black to trade position and then uh, you can have the pawn here, a very forward pawn. But as you can see there's really not much white can do to safeguard the pawn. So as soon as the knight move here, the queen can just take the pawn. So that's a mistake by white. And back to that, that's a wasted tempo basically. The knight just go back and forth. Now at this point in time, I could have done this and attack that pawn and that pawn's gonna fall anyway. Not that I did that. And here are two possibilities here and there. So that's a rather interesting possibilities, but that's just possibilities. It's not a, exactly a winning move. Next move. And that's a mistake. Like I said, I should have moved the queen here and attack there. So, what has just successfully neutralized my attack without too much trouble? So that's a mistake. I could have gotten an advantage, I just blew it up. And there goes all my attacking potential. And this is kind of like a waiting move. Uh, I kept thinking I should move the queen over here somewhere, but because the knight 
is guarding those squares. I cannot do anything. So that's just a waiting of trying to see where would the queen go so I can plan my next move. And the queen went to the worst square possible. So totally cuts these squares and cut this square. So yeah, that's not good for me. Next move. And now that the queen is no longer in danger over here, the knight move over there. So, what has initiative at this point? And this is the position uh, that I showed you earlier. The threat here is basically uh, white can fork the king and queen. So, black has to take the knight. What? Uh, white queen takes the rook and I lose peace, basically. So that's how it happens. So if white did that, black, uh, white would win. Next move. And that is a mistake because it does not cut this square at all. And you know, you can basically just do that check and then rook takes knight, queen takes knight, and it's no longer being threatened by the knight. So what could I have just done that? And this is what white did. And of course, this is a mistake because if white knight moved to this square, he would win. One little mistake, one little tempo. And it's gone. I could have taken this part over here. I decided not to. I'll just take this part over here. Now, uh, as far as peace count, that's equal, right? Uh, two rooks, two rooks, one queen, one queen. So that's about equal. But at this point in time, I have neutralized white's attack. So this is good for me. From what having initiative to nothing. Next move. White has rook being threatened and white has queen being threatened and now white has to choose. Obviously in this case white choose the rook to save the rook. I'm not sure I want to make that decision. I probably would have saved the queen but We'll see what happens. Next move. And that's the point of uh, what's, uh, what's move right here. This is, this is very strong. Once uh, what connects the rook, this will be become incredibly strong. Next, next move. And of course I'm preparing here to move here and if the pawn goes here I can attack both sides but I also turn this one right here <coughs> ah, excuse me and this is puzzle number two and I ask you what move should black do I already have given you the answer and that is to do a check here because it doesn't matter what but one tempo off just just one tempo just one move away next move check and then rook takes queen rook takes rook mid black wins and that's it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow